Welcome to the stream, as always. Thanks for clicking if you're watching later. Now, up to Triforce Heroes. Which is the last game before Breath of the Wild. I did not play this one that much. So... You will note the, the year on this one. This is one of these ones that I got with the 3DS. And then the Switch was announced. <laughs> I did play Link Between Worlds though, but not... Not this one. I didn't get around to it. I touched on it briefly. Let me tell you how this all started. There's text on the bottom screen, I'm just gonna read it. Once there was a kingdom in love of fashion, the people there lived and breathed it. Lovely and stylish. And of them all, none was more lovely and stylish than Princess Styla. S-T-Y-L-A. Alas, there was one who did not wish the princess well. A witch residing in the Drablands. On the fateful day, a gift wrap parcel was delivered to the princess. The sender? Unknown. Suspicious. Well, of course. But a box so fancy the princess could not help but open. What? <laughs> when the dark smoke had cleared, the princess was clad head to toe in clothes she wouldn't be seen dead in. I fancied it'd suit you, she heard a voice say. The box was from the witch. Take the, take the clothes off, what do you mean? What is this plot? The witch had cursed the costume, and only her magic could remove it. Shame stricken, the princess locked herself in her room and wouldn't leave, which cast a dark pall in the kingdom. So this is voluntary being locked away in a room, not even, like, magical seal, it's just... Oh no, I'm wearing hideous clothing. The drab lands were the witch's domain, a nasty land, where only heroes ventured, and reluctantly at that, and so the king, in dire need of a hero, sent envoys to neighboring lands. Enter a young boy eager for adventure. Okay. Wanted totem heroes, requirements, pointy ears, thick sideburns, side parting. Are ye who bear the attributes of the legendary totem heroes. Whosoever rids the land of the deplorable witch and lifts the curse from Princess Styla shall be granted a unique boon by our majesty, King Tuft. Oh. Hey. Hey! You must be the hero who's come to save Princess Styla. Sure am. Oh. Those pointy ears. How chic, if I my, may say. I work at Madame Couture's tailor shop. The clothes that Madame makes are famous for their special powers. <sighs> Princess Styler used to be a big fan until, well, you know. You heroes are our only hope now. Though I have to say, that outfit is a bit, uh... Eh? Uh? Yeah. It's very, uh... Yeah. Why don't you try out something different, you know, just for fun? Hey. Come and stop by our shop. It's the big purple building in the town center, the stylish one. Speaking of, I should head be heading back, or Madam's gonna have me cleaning the kitty litter trays for weeks. Hey. Everyone's counting on you with the with the Princess Styler thing. Okay. So this is uh this is very different. I had to look this up, but weirdly, this game is considered canon, however, it doesn't take place in Hyrule. And I don't think it contributes to Hyrule 
in terms of story at all. However, it is considered mainline, so I guess it falls into the category of games that I need to play. Anyway. I'm gonna get money. Just a little bit. It's not a very long game either, either so... Yeah, I wonder if this is the building. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you? This is Madame Couture's. Where only the most stylish of the stylish gather. Ah, Madame. This is the guy. The one I was telling you about earlier. The hero. Hmm? This oath's a hero, you say? Sure, his clothes are a bit, uh... But look at his ears, madam. Those stylish pointy ears. I have a feeling he's the hero who will save the princess from her, uh, situation. Don't be ridiculous. Ears are ears. There's no fashion to ears. Just another fake if you ask me. To tell you the truth, we've had plenty of heroes like you come along. But not one of them has been able to defeat the witch so far. Princess Styla has been cursed, and we've stopped receiving orders from the castle. A rumor has been going around that being fashionable gets you cursed. Madam's not very happy about it. <laughs> the singing is great. The previous game had a... A pretty weird soundtrack alongside the Link to the Past one was great. <laughs> I'll say I said. Thank you for... 35 months, damn man. Appreciate it. The 3DS games did have good soundtracks. All right. Thanks to this nonsense, no one's buying my clothes. Just the one customer in the fitting room. One. But I can assure you, Madam's very good. The best. As long as you have the materials and rupees, she can put together some seriously smashing things. Anyway, to put an end to this debacle, something's got to get. Something's got to be done about the princess's curse. If you're really a hero and you're going to defeat that witch for me, I don't mind helping out. So, feel like you understand what's going on in our kingdom? More or less. First off, you'll need to go and see Sir Combsley. He's the commander in charge of the Witch's Hut. He's always recruiting new members at the castle, though I hear he's pretty particular. Oh, look at the time. I should dash. Just so you know, I also advise heroes about outfits and materials over at the castle. Kind of like uh, Madame Couture's sub-branch. See you later. Maybe. I'm wearing a teddy bear outfit. Hold on a sec. What in the fashion are you doing? That's the fitting room reserved for those who have bought my clothes. Don't disturb my precious customers. Okay. I see. Um, there's nothing really going on on the bottom screen, it's just the, the area. Like, it's not really providing any extra context, so I'm just gonna do this for now. The decrepit doll lies abandoned. It sort of looks like you. You softly wipe it clean. Until it provides something extra, I'll, I'll leave it aside for now. Oh, hey there, uh, little hero dude. Me? I'm the great Trapini. Peeps call me Trip, though. I, uh, was just passing through and thought I'd drop in. Like, a day trip. Old Trip likes visiting new places. Ah, places. So when I heard that, um, someone's been investigating a new, uh, part of the Drablands, I just had to see. So it took me a trip. That's how it went, yeah? I wonder if it's, like, a scary place or if it's, like, fun times all around. I, uh, really hope to visit soon. I'll be, uh, keeping an eye on the investigation, so, um, yeah, so, well, yeah, basically, I'll keep you posted. Why won't you let me in? I want to be in the witch hunting brigade, too. 
The Witch Hunter Brigade is not open to just anyone. You have to meet the requirements. You can only sign up if you match the hairstyle, sideburn, and ear pointiness criteria for being a totem hero. Why? I don't understand. I've got lots of friendly tokens. I'm so popular. They have to let me in. How's it going? It's going well. Just lazy Sunday. Still long weekend mode. Please wait. You're hoping to be a hero, I assume. Everything is in order. Please proceed inside and see the commander for orders. Why? Well, how, how come he gets to go in? You may pass. I'm hoping to get through this game in the next couple of days. We'll see. That face. You there, boy. Come here for a moment. Pointy ears? Check. Sideburns? Check. And then, uh... Side parting? Check. We got one. I beg your pardon. I may have gotten a little carried away there. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Combsley, leader of the Witch Hunting Brigade of the Kingdom of Hytopia. Since you're here, I assume you've heard about the tragedy that befell our fair land. Something wrong? The Kingdom of Hytopia was peaceful and stylish under the wise rule of his curly majesty, King Tuft. And his daughter, Princess Styla, was the most stylish of all. We all looked up to her style and loved her. But a witch hailing from the Drablands didn't make take much of a sign to her, it would seem. Or so we guess, since she cast a curse on the princess, a terrible one. A permanent wardrobe malfunction. Okay, see, that's that's not a good term to use. <laughs> Cause it kinda has a connotation to it. But okay. What's worse? Everyone came to think that they'd also be cursed if they stayed fashionable. All joy was lost. And so the king founded this witch hunting brigade, styled after the legend of the totem heroes. The legend of the who? There's a legend that's been passed down in the kingdom for ages, one about totem heroes. When a terrible disaster looms over the kingdom, three young boys will appear to save it, so people say. But the king really believes in it, and that's why he formed this witch hunting brigade. The three boys are meant to have some features in common. To wit, pointy ears, sideburns, and side parted hair. The ears to help them hear their comrades' voices. The strong sideburns to help their comrades in times of trouble. And the perfect side parting to a... To be a sign of sure and unshakable friendship. That really is unfortunate for her. Yeah, it's... I wonder if anyone uh, in charge of localization was told, hmm, maybe we should call it something else. I don't know. Anyway. We've been rounding up youths who have those features and sending them out to the drab lands in threes. We're hoping the heroes will appear, defeat the witch, and save our beloved princess. However, I have to tell you though, many would-be heroes have signed up. I haven't seen anyone with heroic features quite as pronounced as yours. I welcome you with open arms. My boy, what do you call yourself? Oh, you don't get to see what I'm typing. Link, is it? <laughs> Sounds like a fitting name for the hero. Stylish too. Alright, first of all, since you're an enlisted man, we must provision you with your hero's tunic. Take this material to madam, have her make you the outfit. Then hover back here. Because, you know, it's a story with three characters, so that's why the number three's in there. A glorious acquisition. I'll send word to madam. Okay. Oh yeah, you went to that safari park, didn't you? How was the safari park? This music... I... And this character. <laughs> so how did it go? So you're a hero after all, huh? Imagine that. I guess the commander knows his business. Well, good for him. 
You want to make clothes? Select order. For a beginner like you... Okay, this is now where the bottom screen is providing context. So let's just do this. Is that... Why is that square? Is that like a Minecraft thing? Power Ranger? I guess... Just go with that. Wait. Wait there, I'll make you one that you'll never forget. <laughs> what is this character? Madame Couture, you've done it again. It's perfect, down to the last detail. Well, what are you waiting for? Get changed. <laughs> Hello, my little dove. How did you like the fitting room? Okay, I should probably just go back to this now. I was just in there earlier. It's lovely, as you'd expect from a chic place like this. See? You know how to wear clothes when you want to. Not bad, not bad at all. I am a genius. From now on, if you want to get changed, use the fitting room, understood? <laughs> Madam talks all tough, but I can tell deep down she likes you really. Oh, by the way, did you know? If you buy an outfit, you'll be able to use it as a stamp on the non-existent service that Nintendo shut down because the services have an expiration date. I don't remember what it was called, but it's shut down. It was a good day, it got good weather, nice. My oh my oh my. Ears fit to pierce the heavens, an impeccable side parting, and the universal symbol of heroism, those magnificent sideburns. You are the spitting image of a totem hero, my boy. However, I've been watching you, you know. I know you haven't given thanks to the totem statue, not once. The heroes are protectors of our fair Hytopia, their statue keeping a record of all we do, be it good or... Now it's time to press... Uh, it's the save thing. It's the save thing. Oh, oh what splendid thanks. I've never seen anyone do it better. So, I mean, I guess while I'm in town, it looks like it's going to be like this. Well, ho, oh, you look quite suave, if I do say so myself. There's no substitute for tailor-made clothes. It's a fact. Well then, first let me impart you to important rules of my brigade. The drab lands, which the witch calls home, are seriously dangerous. They're a real scary place, no joke. For that reason, nobody's allowed to pursue the investigation alone. Recruits are required to form teams of three before setting off. So making a team is step one, and in order to find comrades, we'll be using wireless communication. Okay. But if you're really determined to go alone without using, there is a way. <laughs> That way is behind is that, mind you, you mustn't underestimate the perils of the draft lands. For safety reasons, as a rule, I require teams of three comrades to set out together, but well, just go through and speak to the lobby master. If you do as she says, you'll be able to go alone. Though it is dangerous. Got it, boy? Got it. Well then, Link, I'll be praying for your safety. You've been here for two seconds and it's got major spirit tracks vibes. Ah, uh, yeah. This one's interesting because it doesn't take place in Pyrrhal, but it is considered canon. Hey, confirm me. Uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. This is the Doppel's Chamber. Okay, and now... Here's the thing. I guess I should play it like this now. It is a space devoted to solitary learning by those who have slipped the bonds of, of the physical realm. Oh, 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 young master. Solitude suits you. Your expression says it all. The wooden dolls standing there 
Those are the doppels. They are no ordinary dolls, oh no, they become vessels for your soul, young master. The doppel can become you, while you can become the doppel. They call me the doppel master. When you are ready to depart for the drab lands in the company of doppels, just talk to me. I will form the link between you and the three doppels. Yes. Awake the doppels. Uh, one customer something something. And with that, you are one with the doppels. That is the Triforce symbol, the only path to the drab lands. All that is left for you and the doppels to step onto it. Oh, I almost forgot. There is one last thing I should mention. Look down. That lit up area shows the doppel panels. Touch one and your soul will jump to control that doppel. You better try it out before setting off. So yeah, this is this is the game, more or less. It it's a bit different. It's more puzzle oriented than uh like a exploring a big world type thing, but it's enjoyable. I played a little bit of it, so I don't know all of it. Ah, sorry, just drinking some water before I start. And you can pick costumes, but we'll just go to the hero's tunic. But the big thing was you could play this um with two other people, which was fun. Alright. I suppose I can turn the 3D off, that's not necessary in this one. For the life of me, I can't remember if there's heart pieces in this one. There might be. Reach that. So yeah, I mean, this is this is the key mechanic in this game. Totem. Maybe I did it. Hang on. How do I get... Hmm. But the third one doesn't drop. I thought just walking up to it like this would work, but it doesn't seem to work. It seems to be too short. It is a little weird. Why doesn't this work? 
there anything else I can grab to help you? This game is going to make me feel like an idiot, isn't it? Let's see if there's anything I can do with ours. Alright, so there's Sword Swipe and there's Arrow, that's about it. There's also Charge. I love how this, this has had zero explanation. It's just, nah, figure it out for yourself. Can the middle guy throw? That's a fair point. Oh, yeah, that's how it works. Okay. I thought only the bottom one could throw, but that makes sense. Can we just... There. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, this is this is the game. It's just a series of little puzzles, so... How am I switching controls? Ah, uh, the touch screen at the bottom. You just tap. You'll note the, uh, the same system for... ...for items. It's not ammo, it's that bar. not going to be a very long game. Uh, to 100% it's collecting items, but to go through the story it, it's not that it's not that long, so... I just wish this was enough, but anyway. I don't know. Should I maybe swap to... Because this is nice and presentational, but this is more representative of what's going on. I'll leave it like this for now. It's just this is... The bottom screen doesn't really provide that much. Unlike, uh... Unlike the original DS games. There's also a flash uh, that lets us know who I'm controlling, so... Alright, I can't just hop. I wish you could just hop off, but you can't.
The game is 15 hours long if you just want story completion. Yeah, that's, that's not very long. If I really push it, we can get the majority of it done today. Because 100% is like costumes, and I don't care about costumes. A link between worlds is only 16 hours, really. Faces are a little disconcerting. Well, it's because they're dolls. One, only one of them is really you. Surprised it didn't require the triple totem. Okay, this one does. So yeah, this is more. I guess this is more of like a an arcade puzzle game. It's not gonna be dungeons or anything, it's just... At least I don't think so. This might just be tutorial stuff still. Oh, I chose correctly. The fact that this game only sold one million copies and A Link Between Worlds sold four. Yeah, I mean, I think just looking at this one, you could kind of tell it wasn't going to be a story game. So it was probably a tougher sell. The fact this game sold as much as it did is odd. Well, I mean, it's a throwback to Triforce Heroes. Like the GameCube one. I think people wanted to check it out at this point, and this is the closest you can get to it.
You can play it single player as well, that's the thing. But I imagine it flows a lot better with multiplayer because everyone's doing their own thing. Did the Game Boy Link to the Past have a Triforce Heroes game on it? It had a bonus game, but it wasn't a full-fledged game. At least, to my understanding. Hmm. Well, that gives me the height, but it's not correct. Damn. There we go. throw them on there and it registers that, so that's good. That one hurt me. I wasn't even anywhere near it. I think if I play a lot of it today, then tomorrow I can finish it. Because I thought it was going to be a bit longer, but when I learned about... Because I, I looked up like whether or not this was actually considered canon or not, and it is. Supposedly it takes place a few years after a link between worlds. You can throw your allies off into the abyss. Okay, noted. But I'm not interested in getting cosmetic items or all of the crafting materials. I think this is just going to be casual. I just don't feel as, uh, as stubborn. Almost a, a game you can skip. I still think it's worth a look. Last time.
Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Gotta get Blonk. Blink. Sorry. Money. So I guess I mean would you consider that the first dungeon done? Maybe. I got the feeling this is just gonna fly. Okay. Wish chest while I drink some more water. Oh, I need more water. Shit. One sec. Pick a chest! Okay. Uh, Tektite Shell, whatever that is, versus... What are the other rewards? Slime. I think that was a good choice. Slime, it, it looks like slime is just the, uh... The booby prize. Sweet mushroom. I can imagine how you can, uh... Can annoy people by throwing them into the abyss. Okay, so blue, the blue bomber. That's how I'm gonna remember it. The blue link will be Mega Man. Well, not really. I mean, that's kind of neat, you, you would have... You would have dedicated roles. Thinking about multiplayer here. That ooh. Ooh, that's nasty, it's timed. Okay, so I need to set this up. Okay, hold on. Are you here? Okay.
Alright, so it's gonna be a transfer. Now, if Nintendo had very good online capabilities on the Switch, they could bring this back. But make it, I guess, less of a, a stage-based thing and more of a, you explore an open world. That'd be cool. Guessing where they're gonna be. There we go, that's better. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But I do need to do that. Okay. All right. I think there's heart pieces or anything in this. I mean, based on the starting health you have, it just doesn't seem like there's going to be anything like that. It's not a simultaneous. It can't be simultaneous. There's no way it's simultaneous. That was uh, cutting it a bit close. Okay, so. No. Ah, oh, what I missed! Just, just missed out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hmm. I need all three of them here.
Whoops. No, you know what? It doesn't matter too much. You can go back. I'll let the river take this one. Oh, crap. It might be a big deal. <laughs> ah! Okay. Well, yeah. No, no, I definitely messed up. Yeah. Immediate regret. Ah, damn it. I can't use D pad in this game either. It's, it's like a link between worlds, same control scheme. Okay, carefully pass the key. You know what, you can go put the key in. Okay. Just because there's three of you necessarily doesn't mean it makes it any better. There's always the fantasy of like, man, I wish there was I wish there was three of me, because then I could have me do something that I can only rely on myself to do. Doesn't always work out. Big. I need the arrows. the tower fell. Wait, wrong way. Uh, that was not smart. Da. Okay, again.
I would assume it's time to pick a chest. Left? Alright. Wow. <laughs> Still haven't gone away with the, the booby prize. That's three for three. New outfits are available! I'll go have a look. Just so you can hear the ridiculous theme that plays when you go visit her. Oh, Link, I'm so glad to see you safe and sound. You've still got a long way to go, boy. The drab lands hold more mysteries than you can imagine. Well, keep up the good work anyway. And remember, constant vigilance. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You there, totem hero, look-alike boy. Do you feel the weight of history bearing down on you? You seem more and more heroic with each passing minute, wouldn't you agree? Oh well, uh, but more importantly, great news. The shops that everyone talks about are now open in our lovely kingdom of Hytopia too. Daily Riches is the number one entertainment spot in the kingdom. While the Miiverse gallery is set is set to be closed forever because Nintendo thinks services should expire, as well as games. Between all that heroism and these two prime locations, I bet you'll be getting real busy. What? Okay. Saving. <laughs> this theme. Just listen to it. <laughs> this character. What's the catalog? So we need a blob jelly to get that. I see the outfits do something different. This outfit lets you fire three arrows at once. Makes more hearts appear. Get three of these in good- so if everyone's wearing it. Your first outfit. Makes you take double damage, reduces max hearts. Said- said to give aid to the righteous. What the fuck? Small explosions, big explosions. I can- I can't- I can make the dress. I have to wear that one. Which one? The first outfit? I've already worn it. This is what you start with. I can make the dress. The one that fucks me out. <laughs> Why? Why though? Oh, bare minimum. Wow. That's the name of it. it. Has a cute bear. Yeah, but I could be like a... A glamorous princess. I'm gonna unlock... Can I change layout here? Uh, sure. Just a sec. So you can see it better. <laughs> well, I mean that one because I own it, but this one... It's like a dress. Maybe I should use... 
even more classic as like this one. It's probably better for now. They're all awful except for the bear. <laughs> well, I mean, this, the, uh, I do have the materials for the dress. Anyway. I'm just gonna order the dress. I won't wear it. But just so you can hear this. So stupid. I mean, that doesn't look that bad. There's gonna be more that appear over time. We'll go back to Hero. <laughs> I see, I can buy stuff as well. Anyway, I'm wandering street mode and stop by if you ever need... Yeah. These things are expensive. But I guess money is not a problem. I think the idea with this is you play it over and over again and you grind materials. So, not something I'm gonna do, but... You can at least see. I mean, the bear is effectively challenge mode. Who would skip a stage? Okay, so now we have two bomb. Okay, so will that red and blue be bomb? Hmm. Interesting. that. Stand still and I'll get it.
I mean, so far there hasn't been anything that's been too... too much of a headache in terms of figuring it out. With the exception of just, uh, at the start where I didn't realize you could throw from the middle. There's no point in that. Okay. Let's just get rid of the high problem things first. See, that's why I blew up the pillars. But we're just gonna do this. <laughs> are we the dick here? Those things are kind of just chilling. They're not really attacking us or anything. And we keep knocking them off the, the columns. That's how you do it. Okay, now... That was dumb. Oof, that sucked. See how lenient it is? It just assumes you're going to get destroyed there. I'm guessing this, this is supposed to be like a multi, where more than one person is required, but they had to remove that restriction. Because that, to me, that looked like a... Uh... It looked like a heavy block that required multiple people. 
Hey, it's this boss. Can't stop quick enough. Oh, hello, Messiah. How are you? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do this that way. Got it. Okay. Get up that. Ugh, I messed that up. That's how you do it. It's hard to swap between the three. <laughs> That was a fun fight. It's time to pick a chest, I would assume. Left again. The game thinks I'm going to change chests. Okay. Was that the good reward? I can't remember. Hey, there's something else here. Ladies' glasses. I don't, but, I mean, I guess there's two ways to look at it. It's like, it was the booby prize, however, there was a bonus item in there. So that's the thing, it's it's like, is, it was that really good? I don't know. How valuable are ladies' glasses? <laughs> I mean, everything is just for outfit creation anyway. We can go see the outfits or we can continue. I think in the interest of just doing more, let's just continue.
Riverside. Okay. I can pick, so... I mean, let's just do this sequentially. Pillars with Y, splash in good time. Oh. No, that, yeah, that makes sense, right? Like. Doing that on land. Perfect sense. I like this music, though. Water rod for everyone. I reckon if they remade this game and just did this exact formula, but exploring a large world together, that'd be fun. this. Is that anything? I think it's honestly easier to just climb with one and then bring the others later. Okay, you're in position. Oh, right, magic. <laughs> I have to wait a minute. This music kind of gives me Secret of Mana vibes. Just a little bit. I just I love the premise for this game is there's a princess that got cursed and is wearing an outfit she doesn't like so she's not even confined she's just choosing to be in her room because she can't she can't bear to be outside in that uh in that outfit it's voluntary confinement oh I see I need to It's kind of like in Spirit Tracks how uh, Anjin had the, uh, the the master sword, well, you know, the, the sword the whole time, just in her pocket, casually. I assume I need a second one. Ah, what did I do that for? Maybe I need all three here. fish them all out now. I 
have to be more careful. Just ignore the pig. Sure. There's no water rod in any other game. So this is kind of neat. It's, I mean, it's, it's like a sand rod, effectively. Oh, I see. Hold on. I, I, I'm making an idiot of myself. Okay, so that. Throw you. Swap. Quickly. Now I need to rescue this one. Ah! Why did I why did I go for that hard if it wasn't necessary? It's okay. Fish that one out. It's okay. Put him down for a minute. Now this is safe. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, how is this gonna work? We don't have our, I have to throw. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't timed, so that's fine. Wait, how's this gonna work? Suck. But the bombs go off so quickly. Hmm. 
No, there's no way. Like, how am I supposed to... <laughs> this would be much easier in multiplayer, for sure. This just seems cruel. Okay, I think, I think that worked. Did it work? No. This is just, this is just a timing thing. I need to lay everything out and then quickly... Oh. No, come on. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. I think I need the tower here. Whoops. That, that cost me. It should be okay. I just need to swap to another Link and rescue the red one. I guess that, that Link is dead to us. Wait, I can I can ride it. I can ride it again. It's okay. Salvaged. Get a taller one. Oh crap. Okay, now I just need to rescue the other one. Wait, is that chess time? I think it's chess time. It's chess time. I 
It doesn't look like there's secrets or anything. Alright, I'm going with middle this time. Zora scale. Hey, I chose correctly. of agony. This one first. Just means I can fish these two out. level? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh no. Okay, it's fine, just... Guess that worked. It's a time thing, isn't it? No? Okay. It keeps happening. Swap in this spot, hang on. Okay. 
I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm not having that thing mess me up. That was the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh.
Have I been quiet? Oh, have I? I don't know. Maybe I muted. <laughs> Oh no, I was definitely concentrating. <laughs> like, I haven't been saying much, so... That's the thing, I wouldn't be able to tell you if I was just quiet or concentrating. Ah! Appreciate checking. I'm trying to release it and move right away, but I don't think it's going to work the way I think it will. Oh, it did. But the thing is, I can't... What am I missing here? Ah... chat I can't you can you can see what's going on right my glitch passive has gone off and uh my character is inside <laughs> just a head sticking out of a floorboard I, I don't even know how that happened. Oh, this is not good. Does the game really have to point that out? You're nearly done for, really? You're barely holding on! Thanks for that uh, reassurance there. Oh, 
Oh, shit. This doesn't exactly work either. I think I need to leave one behind. I can, I can do this again. It's just... How did I do it last time? Like this? And then... Pick blue. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like this. Sorry. It doesn't work. Okay, I mean, this is fine, I'll be able to get back. <laughs> I think I've messed this one up. back. Although, I guess this is all I needed, right? It's just... Okay, and then you can bring this one forward. No, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. And then... Okay. I was not going to make that one. Oh, ugh, I'm still in my health. Something clearly there. I got what this is. This reminds me more of a Yoshi's Island boss, though. At least visually.
Oh, it's on a different height. I think the way I was supposed to do that was uh, use the water spout, but that also works. Wait, but... This money... Oh, that just doesn't seem fair at all. <laughs> Got nothing. Chess time. Aww. There was no bonus item, so I guess the BB prize doesn't have bonus items. this what are the trif what what do the trifles signify I don't get what it's what it means there's four of them is it <laughs> no I don't want to do this four times I wonder what that means. Ooh, it's hook shot time.
This does make this game interesting because you can play it as a multiplayer game or you play it as more of a tactical thing where you're swapping units. So it works pretty well. Wait, does this work? Oh no, but see, that's getting to them. Okay. That's... I'm not sure if that would be painful or not. Okay, this is the way to traverse. I thought throwing it across would work, but it doesn't seem to. Maybe it needs extra height. No! Oh! Like, uh... Okay, then you... Then... Hang on. It would seem... How do I get across this? What? No! I pushed them both into the... Uh. You're making beef jerky? Oh, that sounds good. What time is it over there? Is it like a early morning jerky? That would make a good breakfast. All the talk of chicken nuggets. I went and got chicken nuggets today. So not quite the same as like making your own jerky, but... It's a good thing I've eaten, otherwise talking about food now, I'd, I'd want something. I do have a bag of potato chips though, if I get hungry, but... I did say chicken nuggies, yes. I've been hearing about them so much, I was like, nah, I need to get some. So I did. That requires the, uh, the Wario. Oh, yes! Uh, I guess just swim. You're cutting about two-thirds of a kilo. So I'm just like, I won't be touching the keyboard. Yeah, I know, that makes sense. 
you have dictation? That would be funny. Include a meow between each word. I mean, it'd be funny. Just no context. This is pretty cool. One of them has to act as a, a totem. Wait, another- oh, but I guess I have to do this. Okay, then you pull them across. Yep, and we do that. I think this game is good for what it is. Oh, it's already here. That was quick. But I mean, it's, it's kind of light on story. It, I guess this illustrates why it, I felt like it wasn't a big deal to skip the GameCube, uh... Four Swords Adventures, or whatever it's called. Because it was more or less this. It's not heavy on story. Plus. That's how you do it. Okay, same thing. Get close. Just don't let it get back in its shell. never be able to use dictation. Just all virtual assistants just can't figure out my accent. There are times where if I need them to understand what I'm trying to say, I, I have to try and Americanize it, otherwise it just doesn't work. Just drinking water. All right. Uh, which which chest? Someone pick. When I woke up this morning, I hit my elbow. <laughs> Pretty hot. Top. All right. I'm still feeling it a little. <sighs> Well, day was the right one.
<laughs> Pinky clean. Uh... Alright, I'll finish up this world and then we can go check out the costumes. The water temple! <laughs> oh boy! Who's ready for a water temple? <laughs> Get up over here. Out of curiosity, I was looking at uh, like how much a copy of Four Swords Adventures goes for. Just the game on its own is like uh, 200 Australian. Just the game. That's not taking into account the adapter you need. Oh, shit. That's one of the more expensive games just because it didn't sell a lot of copies. I mean, look. If I wanted to, I, I could get a copy of it. But it's just... I think it'd be one of those things that <laughs> if I'm taking streaming seriously, that's the only time I would do it. Because then I could be like, alright, yeah, do it properly. Set up a company and then make it a... Like, a... Business expense. And then I could justify it. But on its own, it's like, okay, it's just, it's a hassle. And the, the problem is I have to find a European or Australian version of the copy because that's what my GameCube is. There is the region lock thing that you can bypass, but I've heard it's sketchy for a European console trying to play American games, but it's not if you do it the other way around, like, an American console doesn't have problems with the region lock if you go to play, say, a European game. But the other way around it is. I think it's just because... I think PAL has the lower frame rate from memory. So that's that's the problem. Anyway, I don't know. It's a problem of the, of the past. But there's a few GameCube games that I like that you you won't. It's very hard to find them on the internet, like say eBay or marketplaces, for less than two hundred bucks. Paper Mario is another one that's just ridiculous, but I thankfully have that one. I do want to play it at some point. What am I missing here? I need to be hit to hit the other one as well, but hmm. It kind of sucks if you want to collect older games or get them to play them. It's just... It's not great. Particularly Pokemon games. That's another... It's another bag of, uh... Bag of worms? Can of worms? Whatever the expression is. It's just... Hmm. 
Hmm. I am missing something obvious. What am I missing? Oh, okay. There's a mechanic. It's a very deep rabbit hole. What is Pokemon games and their prices or? Collecting games, it is, yeah. I generally get the ones that, uh, I either always wanted to play, and will definitely play them one day, or they're games that I've played before and I just, you know, want them. Because I didn't own them. I'm not one to be like, I'm gonna get every single Nintendo 64 game. Stuff like that. I just get ones that I personally enjoy, or ones that I can see myself streaming one day. But I got some decent ones in my collection, like... I think Paper Mario, while it's not extremely rare, it's definitely one of those games that, uh... It's getting ever more expensive to get it. Uh... I got Chrono Trigger on the DS, which... It's about as close to as I'll get to getting the good Chrono Trigger. The Super Nin Chrono Trigger didn't come out here, I don't think, on Super Nintendo, so... The only way for me to get a Super Nintendo copy of it is to get an American one imported, and it's already expensive to do that, so... The DS one is considered definitive anyway, because it has all that extra content. I understand what's going to happen here. No, really? Okay, maybe maybe I don't know what's going to happen here. Hmm. There we go. As far as acquiring games lately, I've been into getting Game Boy games. Just because I got the analog pocket. I've gotten most of the ones that I want. There's still a few around. It's just, it'll take a while. It's just about being patient. bad. You got the water rod. It should be you.
It's just, I love the look of, of the, the dolls just kind of floating in the water. They just have this look of despair. Okay. If there was one game that, let's just say, you had a rich benefactor that went to you and was like, hey, I'm gonna let you buy one game. Doesn't matter how much it costs, it's on me. What game would you get? It's a tough one. Battletoads? So you, I guess... Which Battletoads though? The the NES? The Super Nintendo one? Or the uh... I think it came out on Sega as well. One is very hard. Well I think I have my answer. My answer would be this game called Little Samson on the NES. It was uh... one of the last titles to come out on the NES. And the graphics look really good for an NES title. But, uh... Yeah, it, it kind of plays like a Mega Man game, but you can also switch characters. But just to find a copy of this game, it's... It's really hard. And, uh... Uh, I mean, it, it goes for a few thousand when you do find a copy of it, so it's like, it's pretty rare. Whatever is the meme, yes, definitely the NES one. That's the one that's considered the hardest. I have a copy of that game. I, I've been, no, no joke, it's a game that I kind of play every now and then off stream. Because I want to get to a point where I feel comfortable enough to finish it, reliably. And, for the record, I haven't gotten anywhere near that. <laughs> but if I can one day, I'll play through it. Um, it doesn't have to be a rare game, I guess. I'm just saying, like... If there's, some, if there's a title that speaks to you, it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be rare. You don't have to cheat. It's like, if you want Mario All-Stars, go for it. I wish we would have gotten the, uh... The special edition of Mario All-Stars here. We didn't get it. There were two versions of it that came out. There was one that just had... Uh, Mario 1, 2, and 3, and the Lost Levels. But then, in America, they released a second edition of it that also includes Super Mario World. And man, that's... that's pretty definitive. Just having that. Pretty much all the best 2D Marios on one cartridge. That would be sick. I mean, just because a, ra a game is rare... ...doesn't mean it's good as well. But in the case of the one that I picked, it's both rare and a good game. My second choice, and it's only a second choice, it would be because you would need the console. But let's say they were like, okay, you can have the console too. It would be a Virtual Boy and uh, Warrior Land for the Virtual Boy because there's no other way to play that game. And it's the only Wario game I don't own. I have all of the other ones. Um, how do- oh, I see. No, no, I see, I see. I think. Yeah, this- this still works up here. Okay, and then... Hmm. Interesting. That doesn't work.
does not reach. Unless maybe we have to do this on top of it. No, it's not tall enough. That reaches, so then... Hmm. I need to get a second one up here. see if there's anything behind me. Oh, it doesn't get any further up. What am I missing? Ah, idiot. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, there we go. One day I will finish Battle Toads. That is the one where I always cite it as people that talk about Dark Souls being the pinnacle of difficulty to the point where it's used as a comparison for everything. Nah, man. Battle Toads. Battle Toads is objectively harder than that game. Wait, do I even need to do this? Oh, I see. Okay, and then... Still no. I need the tower then? If I was sent to an island and allowed to bring any console with all its games, which would I choose? Hmm. It's a tough one. I mean, games I can see myself playing over and over again, probably my answer would be the Super Nintendo. That's just because that's the highest nostalgia for me. I think a close second would be Game Boy. Close second. But I mean, I think pretty much all the main... mainline games for Nintendo had like... their... their moment where they've perfected the formula on the Super Nintendo. Do you get the Switch's online service? I don't know, do you currently get the Switch's online service? <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be a stab at, like, there's no difference between being on a deserted island and being in civilization when it comes to Nintendo Switch Online. What? Yeah, but... What am I missing here? The... This doesn't... This doesn't work, unless it's not supposed to work and I'm just supposed to end the stage now. If you want to get a virtual console with that, no. But I mean... Nintendo Switch doesn't really have all the Super Nintendo games on their online service, like... They can't, right? For example, Capcom doesn't provide Castle... Sorry, Konami doesn't provide Castlevania, Capcom doesn't provide Mega Man. Or Street Fighter. You wouldn't be able to get it anyway, just because everyone wants people to pay for collections these days, as opposed to... ...having the one service. I mean, even if you had the online service, you'd have gaps in the collection.
Okay. I just was trying from an awkward angle. I don't know why. That took longer than it needed to. SNES was the golden era. It was. That's where a lot of games found their footing. And I mean, there's a reason why for the Game Boy Advance, a lot of Super Nintendo games were just straight up ported across. There's a reason. <laughs> Like, the ga the GBA was basically a portable Super Nintendo. So happy growing up with that. Me too. I still have mine. Mine's, mine's still functional. Although I don't really use it anymore because I got, uh... Analogs, like, Super NT console, so... Because that has the, the HDMI. I don't have to... Do what I used to have to do, which was... Run it through an upscaler and have three boxes, more or less, to play it at a good quality, but I still have all my games. They're kicking around. And to me, the Super Nintendo controller is the best controller. That's why I bought the, uh, the official wireless one, and it's so good. Just hang there. This is supposed to flick us over, I would assume. Get down. No, it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Probably indestructible. I mean, all stuff built then was kind of indestructible. <laughs> there was that... Game Boy that's in the museum that, uh, was involved in an explosion and still plays games. It's kind of crazy. I just wish Australia... Well, it's not... I guess it's got nothing to do with Australia. I think this is more of Nintendo's fault. I wish in that era, Nintendo didn't do what they did, which was... Hey, here's a game that's releasing. We're gonna release it in America right away. Europe's gonna be six months later. Australia's gonna be seven to nine months later. Or, if we don't feel like it, we'll be like, Nah, it's been too much time has passed. Let's just not release it in Australia. Because that happened with quite a few games, and good ones at that, like... Chrono Trigger, one of the mana games, um... We didn't get Mario RPG... ...either. In the NES era, there was no Mega Man 6 here. It's just... There's just a bunch of games that they didn't bother to release here, just because... By the time they got around to here, they were like, Nah, there's other stuff out, let's just release that instead, it'll probably do better. It is sad. I haven't played Mario RPG yet. I still haven't played that game. There are ways to play it now, like I could play it on Switch if I wanted to. Okay, there we go. Hey, Heavy, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Hey, Clive. Okay, hang on. This is, uh... This is the last game before Breath of the Wild. I'm almost up to Breath of the Wild. But I'm playing through one of the, uh, the weirder entries. 
Whoops. <laughs> oh, I need water rod. Okay. This one is uh, more of a puzzle game. Thank you for the uh, sub as well, Levy. Appreciate that a lot. How's the stream? What are you uh, playing at the moment? I think this can just reach. I think I just overcomplicated it. There we go. Okay, and now I just need to repeat this. Play it all little puzzles tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is what I'm doing as well. This is a Zelda game that you can either play as multiplayer and solve problems together, or you can do what I'm doing, which is you change control and you combine your characters. Uh, how am I going to get the other one across, though? What's this? Okay. to lower the water now. Oh. Maybe this is simple. Okay, there we go. That's a bit easier. This one took a while. Oh wait, it's still not over. I think I need to raise the water level again. I need all three of them. Wait, do I? Hang on. Maybe not. No, it's fine.
Ah! <laughs> uh... I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. There we go. This is a boss. This would probably be better in a multiplayer sense. <laughs> Multiple people would be stabbing. Oh, no, there it is. I was gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna look for health. Yes, it is. That message is really annoying. I wish, it, I wish it wouldn't pop up.
Yay. <laughs> Last phase was easy. Jerky is now in the fridge. I thought that that was two sentences there, like, Jerky's in the fridge, now it's time to take a bath, but I get what you mean. It's just it broke across two lines on my screen. That money should stay on screen for longer, that's a, that's a bit of a, a downer. Okay, it's time to pick a chest. I'm gonna go with right. Silk. Ah. I guess the tentacle was a good item. You got dry rub smell. That's why the hand smells so good right now. That's why. <laughs> the same when I do dry rub chicken wings. It's just the smell just sticks around for a while and it's good. Uh, that's two worlds done, so I'm gonna go outside for a bit. Glad to see you safe and sound. Mind you, the area whose guardian you have bested is but a small corner of the drab lands. Fashion is paramount. Don't slack off in your pursuit of style, boy. I'd like nothing better than for you to head right back into the drab lands, but... King Tut's asked to see you, getting a direct summons from the king. Good one, Link. Just mind your manners. Well, first time we're meeting the king. Oh, oh. And that's the princess in the background. Oh. So you are Link. We... We are King Tuft, king of this fair kingdom of Hytopia, obviously. And may we introduce our daughter, Princess Styla. Well, Styla? I'm sorry to have you see me like this. I only have my carelessness to blame. I put people through, through so much trouble. But I want to dress up again like before. So I beg for your help. Oh, my poor girl! The outfit seems simply stuck, so we tried all possible means to get it off, but to no avail. <laughs> She's a stylist? <laughs> I just- I just find it comical that the plot of this game is... She's been forced to wear a costume, there's no way to take it off. But other than that, her life is pretty normal. There's no magical barrier, she's not trapped inside a crystal or anything. Any other possible plot that has preceded this game. No, she just refuses to come out of her bedroom. Ugh, man. Worst of all, ever since Styla- oh my god, her name is Styler as well, so she's a stylist. <laughs> that just clicked. Styler got- ever since Styler got this way, the kingdom and its people all fell into a foul dark mood. Now everyone is afraid of fashion. We have never seen the town looking so drab. Our kingdom is in peril! We believe. We believe that the legendary totem heroes will surely appear again to save our kingdom. And speaking of totem heroes, you see, there is one more line to the legend. When the totem heroes conquer further ordeals, peace and fashion will rule eternal, for reals. So it goes. We believe you to be the promised totem hero who will lead our kingdom to peace and ultimate stylishness. We encourage you to challenge the trials of the Drablands and become the hero this kingdom needs. I'm on it. Oh! Oh, oh, your eagerness to help brings a royal tear to our royal eye. We were right to ask you, oh yes. Well, of course, there will be a reward, a fitting one. We'll get right on it, don't worry, we'll figure it out. You will be able to engage in further trials after first defeating each area's guardian. 
Let us explain. We are referring to bonus challenges. You are now able to take on bonus challenges in the areas whose guardians you've defeated. Sorry, I, ca I cannot anymore. I wish you all the luck from the sidelines. Oh, my poor girl. We have promised a unique boon to them that saves the princess. We hope it is close at hand, the day we grant you that boon. There's a fashion emergency and it's canon. Yep, but just be grateful. It do it's not Hyrule. It doesn't contribute to the Hyrule story at all. I'm not sure why this is considered a game in the main line, but it is. There might be a reason. The king has told me about your bonus challenges. You'll be fine, I'm sure of it. But it's going to get even more dangerous from here on in, so be sure to prepare well. Because this is the link from A Link Between Worlds. So, this takes place after the events of the previous game. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely save. Well, go oh, it's just you. I heard from Sir Combsley things are going well, I take it. Hmm? What's that thing you've got there? That thing, let me look at it. One of the lady's materials? Good heavens, does this mean you defeated that enormous thing? I need to tell you something about the witch. But this might be a little long, but will you listen? Alright, go on then. So here's the truth. The witch, the lady, she's actually my older sister. Fashion magic runs in her family, you understand. That's why the outfits I make contain mystical powers. The lady's quite the stylist too, though her ideas are... A tad particular, shall we say. Particular or peculiar? Anyway. But at some point, she got all power hungry and went a little off the rails. What was she thinking, placing that wretched curse? Anyway, I feel a bit bad about helping to hunt the lady down. She's still my sister, but what else can I do? Maybe there's a reason behind all of this. I don't believe Lady would do this just to be spiteful. I see. I've been looking for a hero to save the Lady for a good long time now. Now that you have a Lady's material, maybe it's high time I told you about that thing. I mean, the Lady's Ensemble! If you put it on and go to the Princess, you should be able to lift the curse. Maybe then the Lady will be able to... Find some peace. So I'll do my best to help you out in any way I can. You'll help the lady for me, won't you? Okay. The materials for the ladies' ensemble are so rare, I'd given up finding them. But you, perhaps you will be able to find them. At this rate, I'll be able to make the ladies' ensemble pretty soon. We'll need all the lady materials for that, though. I trust I can count on you in that regard, boy. I've added some new outfits to the catalogue. Remember, always keep up with the latest trends. So, no legendary sword, no Triforce. It's just... Clothing. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Let's swap to, wait, this layout for a sec. Since you can see. I can- I can become a Zora. Jack of Hearts. For Water Rod Pros. I can become a- I can I can become a Goron! A- a ninja? The Parker, which I assume is- is a nod to the Anuki. I can- I can become an Anuki. Tingle! Okay, this is just like a Hammer Brother. Well, the only one I can make right now is- is the Zora. 
I mean, okay, th there's, there's usefulness to this. If I'm doing water levels, yeah, that is pretty useful. Let's just see if there's any overlap with materials. It doesn't look like there is, so I guess I can make this without. Okay. We'll make... We'll make the, uh, the Zora costume. The sound effects this character makes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There you go, there's my Zora outfit. <laughs> That's just Azorable, my sweet little guppy. <laughs> okay, it is pretty good. I do like it. I mean, has this game grown on you a little now, now that there's better costumes? And the fact that this was multiplayer, I mean, you can still play it online, I think, but... Can you? Yeah, th that was the point of it. Like, here. You go here. Pretty sure. Or is it Wi-Fi? Hang on. It might be local wireless. Oh, I think it's local. Okay. I think it's local wireless. I just, when I see the word wireless, I assume online, but it's not. <laughs> if Nintendo were to make this and have online play on the Switch, I think it would do well. Yeah, but see, what does that mean, though? Alright, um, before we continue, I want to take, like, a short intermission, because it's already been three hours, so I want to get another beverage, but also just stretch my legs for a couple of minutes. But we will continue. I'm, I'm having fun with this one, so give me a couple of minutes to do that, and, uh, we'll continue with Triforce Heroes. But, if you're watching on YouTube later, this is where the journey ends, for now. But I do hope you were... Happy with this, uh, this first part here. Alright, bye YouTube!